What is up YouTube? Welcome back. My name is Marco. You probably don't know me, but we touched down in Ushuaia. We took the taxi and the plane this morning at 6 o'clock from Buenos Aires. We touched down. It's beautiful. It's very scenic. Um, you saw it in the plane. I filmed a little bit. And right now we're in the search for a hostel. We want to get it cheaper. So we'll book it in person, not on booking.com or Hostel World. And yeah, I'm pretty hyped. We go on some hikes, maybe see some orcas, penguins. And yeah, let's see what Ushaya has in store for us. Let's go. And if you want to support the channel, please, please, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel for future adventures. <laughs> Here inside you have the kitchen and dining area. You can take as many coffee as you want, 24-7, okay? Okay. We have a bathroom for one person only if you want to lock the door for more privacy. Mm -hmm. Free showers and free toilets. These as good as the one in Buenos Aires. I think it's exactly the same price. And I see it's breakfast included. That's very nice, but yeah, quite basic. Strawberry. Marmalade. Oh. And we directly booked a ticket for a boat tour to see some penguins. What else do we see, Moritz? Sea lions. Sea maybe, lions. Maybe if we get lucky. Maybe we, if we get lucky, we see some orcas. Yep. And of we course, see. if you watch the Buenos Aires vlog, we have to save the proteins. 46 grams of proteins are safe. And we have some pizza. Pizza with jamon. E queso. queso. So we'll enjoy this and then hopefully see some penguins, orcas and sea lions. But I will show you, of course. Hopefully we also see some milfs. I don't know about that, but hopefully. <laughs> mm, this pizza is better. This pizza is better than all the pizzas I had in Buenos Aires. It's not good, but the pizzas in Buenos Aires are far better than this flow. Yeah, whatever helps, right? Yeah, so let's enjoy. Mm. It's good. It's starting. Starting, guys. We're ready for the penguins. It's the military ship. Say the penguins are really really cute. I love penguins from now on. What about you, Morris? He looks like a penguin himself. No, they are actually, they're actually quite quite cute. I'm a little bit disappointed because they are not that much here, but yeah. all in all, it's like five penguins. To see them, like, but hey, around. we can't be disappointed. We can't be disappointed. But I love penguins. Sea lions were amazing as well. They were like. Oh, yeah? I love the sea lions as well, and, but yeah, the boat is really crowded actually, and everybody's taking pictures. I hate such touristy stuff, but you gotta see the penguins, I guess, when you're here. So, penguins, check. Okay, back from the boat, we went some shopping, and now we're cooking up some mushrooms with pasta and beef. beef. And that's the dinner for today, so good night, see you tomorrow. And good morning YouTube. We had a nice breakfast and right now we headed outside to enjoy the area a little bit. We saw there's like a mountain nearby so we're gonna get a taxi and hopefully see the lagoon up there. So a warm-up hike because uh, the next few days we're going to a national park where you can hike like for eight hours I think. So yeah, let's get the taxi and explore a little bit. Go to uh, Mirado del Valle Carabajal, Valle Carabajal, Mino hablo español. Valle Carabajal. Sí. 
Okay, so the taxi was actually way too expensive. Yeah, 8,000 one way, which is like 50 euros if you don't exchange blue dollar and like with blue dollars it's still 30, 30 euros. So we decided to walk and maybe tramp. Haven't tramped in Argentina yet, so maybe this will be a quite interesting experience, but we will see. Hopefully we'll get there. Okay, decided not to tramp because like, I don't know, we were too scared, but we will do it sometime, huh? So in the end we have to, I guess so. Yeah, we have to because right now we found a... <laughs> we still have to get back to the city center, so... Yeah, but right now we found, like we walked like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and... 40 minutes, yeah, actually 40 minutes and drove with the bus. He took us like at the end of the street and now we found a taxi driver who drove a lady out of the town and he was like kind enough to took us with him and he's uh, using the taxi meter so we won't get ripped off, which is pretty good. So let's see, hopefully we'll get safe to the mountain. Arrived. We, just, we just arrived here in the middle of nowhere basically and we have no clue if here's a hiking path or anything or a track. Um, yeah, let's let's get to the uh, to the another chicane and then probably uh, head up right into the, uh, into the mountain, I don't know. Into the jungle. Into the jungle. Like Moritz said, we're really in the middle of nowhere and there's no people. We expected like that there's an entrance or something. but. There's literally no one. Look, look at the street is so big and not even a car is passing by. So wish us luck, it's like half past 12 right now. So we have the whole day and it gets dark by nine or 10, I think. So we have plenty of time, but <laughs> there's, there's no one, no one. We finally found the entrance, Laguna Turquesa. After walking for like six kilometers, I was dressed way too hot. But right now, we found it. Let's walk up there and hopefully it's turquoise, like beautifully turquoise. So yeah, but let's go up. So I think we're more than halfway through. We passed this very muddy section, which was very steep, but we made it. And there's the first snow and the trees get less, so Hopefully we sit there soon. I show you the snow, but it's amazing. So fresh, the air is so fresh, and there's no one. Like there's no one. But how could, like, on the street there was no one? So why would here be anyone? Made it out of the woods. It was very very steep at the end, but right now, oh, it's so peaceful. Look, there's Moritz. <laughs> He's not looking here. Okay. I guess it's like, it should be in the valley there because there's where the, where the waterfall ends, I think. So there should be the lagoon. <laughs> yeah, we have to. Okay guys, the last meters. I have to be careful because I'm walking on snow, but yeah. I think we made it after like two and a half hours. Yeah, it was pretty exhausting. And at the end there was no real path, so we had to just walk on snow, on little little waterfalls and everything. So I hope it's worth it. But actually we met two other people who have been up there um, and they said the lake is frozen. So I'm afraid I can I can show you a turquoise lagoon, but I guess it still looks awesome if it's frozen. Huh? We we finally made it up here after like complete hike of two and a half hours over seven and a half kilometers. Um, it's nice. Sadly, it's frozen. All in all, super nice hike. Let's hope to uh, get back soon and healthy to uh, El Refugio in Ushuaia. Tourist you're working in or fishery? Uh, okay, so this guy was so friendly to pick us up. God bless because it's raining now. Because now it's raining, so very lucky, very lucky. Our shoes are very dirty. But yeah, on the way back to Shaya now. This is my office. Yeah? <laughs> Beautiful office.
<laughs> Actually, this guy was so nice. We hitchhiked back and we put out the thumbs for like, I three think times. three times and then he picked us up. He was so friendly. The, uh, the car was so tiny, but we still managed to squeeze us in and took off our shoes so his car won't get dirty. So be careful if you hitchhike, but I think sometimes you can trust the people. So just be careful and then you'll be fine. And he even dropped us in the street of our hostel. So thank you to this guy. He subscribed to the YouTube, so you'll be in the next video. So peace, greetings to you, my man. All right, guys, rested a bit from the hike, drank some coffee, ate a banana, had some pre-workout. <coughs> We are at the gym again and today I'll be showing you my back day. So we got in for free again, so that's very good. We don't have to pay. Um, and I'm taking you guys through the workout, let's go. But before we start the workout, we have to unzip the hiking pants. I wanted to do this. Okay, so it's a very small but decent gym. I have to talk quick because otherwise I get copyrighted. So we did the warm-up already and first exercise is lat pull-down to really squeeze the muddle, get the blood flowing in the back. Um, so let's kick it off. So we add another 8 kgs on top. It's my second working set. We do four. So let's see how it goes. Okay, second exercise, barbell row. I'm going pretty heavy, so we have 95 kilos. Yeah, let's kick it off. So last, uh, next, next exercise is lat pull down machine. Do another three sets of it, um, and yeah, how about the rest of it? I don't know about it. To be honest, I really don't know about it. But um, let's do another two more sets. Maybe a little bit more weight it was too easy for me. Um, but yeah, let's go. Okay, so Boris said it was too light, so we're going for a stack, baby. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Tops off for the boys. for the back will be rows, rows for the hoes, or just normal rows. Um, yeah, really feel the squeeze, pumping a lot of blood, and then you're good to go. Now we're ready for the rear delt. We're doing some face pulls, three sets. 10 to 12 reps. Okay, last two exercise for the biceps, for the guns. Um, do some basic hammer curls and then some cable curls. So, let's fucking send it. I'm completely wasted after the hike. I'm drained, I'm sweaty, I'm, I want to shower, I need to eat, so. Let's push these six sets and then we're done.
Let's go, Junge. And our final meal after the gym. Look at this. It's beautiful. Some tortillas, some tacos. We'll enjoy them. We're completely wasted. It's like 11 o'clock at night. Um, but if you watched the video so far, please leave a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below. It's the first video in Ushuaia. Uh, I think two more will follow, but we will see. So content is planned. Stay tuned. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out. See you in the next one. Aside from my soul